What is going on, Team Eclip Eclipse Grunts? It is I, Executive Chess Manager in NDA, welcome you guys back to another tutorial video. Last week I gave you guys suggestions and you guys voted for channel art, which was perfect because I was asked to do a channel art for a YouTube creator, YouTube content creator, or a K PokeTuber, or whatever you guys want to call it. Yeah, so I was required. Um, not required. I was requested to do something, and that is perfect because I could, I could just do two things at once, which is finish the banner and do a video for you guys. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to open our template, which I will, if you guys want, I will leave it in the description. Here you guys have it. I will leave this um, channel art template for you guys in the description below. So before we start star we got to get rid of the middle part which is where your channel art is going to go um, there we go now you can simply have this but what I like to do is go to hue and saturation go all the way black that way it looks all black and nice and make sure you add new layer because everything you're going to do has to be under this black background so what we're going to do I'm going to speed up the process until I find a picture that I'm going to use and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we have the image, you're going to drag it here and if you guys see that the image is too small and you're probably going to resize it and you see this happening, you see you stretch it and it does not look good, so what I, what I, I'm going to tell you guys is you guys click shift and that way you'll be able to resize it without it looking um, distorted so that's a really good tip for any of you guys that want to know how to do that so let's just simply leave this actress here and um, let's get rid of this thing right here and there now that you have the a basic icon of the channel which in this case it is a hack series you can either choose your favorite Pokemon you I don't really know but basically whatever you guys want it's up to you guys it's gonna be for your channel so the next thing is doing the text so I recommend not too small not too big well I mean it could be big not just don't make it too small and just saying that you guys should go download fonts from the font.com because these fonts Honestly, the ones that paint on it comes with are not the best. Let's just try, and I will fast forward through until I find a really good font that I would like to use for this guy. So you guys can see, I couldn't find a good font so what we're going to do we're gonna go to the font dot com and we're gonna search for a good one so I recommend going for basics and this is what is really important if you don't want to get like copyright stuff so you go to more options and you go to public domain 100% free you click on those and then you submit and it will only show you the ones that are 100% free and I get free to use so right here you guys can see a previous a preview of what your text is gonna look with the font so I just click and see which one looks pretty good I'm gonna fast forward through all this so you guys can see I found this font so let's just hit download and in the meantime I'll also show you guys how to use your font How to import fonts so you click on it mm -hmm. extract it yes hmm. now you can get rid of the font now you go into your computer and you go to fonts you click on it wait for that to load here we go now you got yours right here and you wait for your control panel to load now you get this, you drag it in there. So it's installed. 
but in order for it to work you must restart uh, paint.net but if you already have some don't worry just some progress made don't worry you can just save it as a PDN safe everything will be on the save yes you heard that that's kind of scared me a little bit I know I'm such a dumbass but what was the font called god damn it uh anywho's now that you did that you know, but, 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 <laughs> now that you did that ladies and gentlemen you're going to go to file open recent and click on your channel that you had in process so I am complete dumbass and I forgot what the font was called so I'm gonna have to search for it real quick while I fast forward through all this it's called purse perka or whoever you want to pronounce, pronounce it so you guys see it right here make it 200 that looks decent what if I make it a bit bigger 240 um, hmm you can mess around with the size you know I'm just gonna leave it at 216 there you go so this is the important thing I'm gonna show you guys so I recommend always putting the text white or the color you're gonna color it In this case I am going to be making it um, What's it called? Uh, Haxorus is golden color, so recommend clicking here. Click right, right click. I mean, left click on the primary color, which is a light color, and right click on a darker color, which is right here. So you get a more. You click on your first. Let's make it a bit more brighter than it has to be. There we go. Now you can. Since I did not know what color I was going to do, let's just color this because if you select it, there we go. See this right here? It's the same color. So, what you're going to have to do is go to the magic wand, press shift, so you select all the text, and you can either give it a gradient, which is this, looks like, like that. See, like that. That's a gradient. You can make it so. It looks like that however you guys want it I'm not gonna do that I'm actually going not I'm not gonna do that I'm actually going to um select it and then I'm gonna go to the paintbrush and this is a actually new technique I barely found out so you can click on here when it's in a solid color you can click forward diagonal 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 okay so you click on that now after you have that you can go to more and change this a bit brighter and you're gonna grab this lower the hardness to zero make it a decent amount of size so you can like shade the words so a bit bigger I recommend now if you slightly drag it across you'll see how it gives it the line effect so I'm not gonna use the line effect this is just for demonstration we might use a forward one. That one look, that one looks alright. I guess. But we can also this is one of my favorite, the X one. Looks pretty good. Actually it look, looks pretty good, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. And what the hell? Thought I had my Skype on do not disturb, I apologize for that. I I'm pretty sure I did. But anywho now that you have this effect you can either okay download these plugins because these plugins are going to save your ass drop shadow and outline object you can outline object and you'll see how it gives it like this good black outline makes him look more professional more it stands out more look at this it looks pretty freaking amazing but I'm not going to do that yet so you what you guys could do is you can either duplicate the layer right here duplicate the layer now the one at the bottom, go to adjustments, hue and saturation, make it black, you see right here, black or white, I suggest white instead, that way you can, now you go to adjustments, you color it, a darker tone of the one that you have in the front, so now that you have that, you drag it down of your text, you move it a little bit to the right, and then a bit down, and that gives it a 3D effect, which I love to use when I'm using text. It makes it look more professional and overall pretty good looking. 
you can make it darker, you can make it whatever color you want. Now that you have that out of the way, now you can do the outline object on the one in the bottom. So we're going to go to object, outline object, and then you click on black. And there you go, that looks pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Mm-hmm, there you go. Or if you don't like that, you can just simply go with the one you wanted. On the top, object, outline object, and you just get rid of the one in the bottom. Or you could just simply not give it a outline at all, but I think I'm just gonna leave it without an without an outline because it has a 3D effect on the back but now that we have that we're going to give it um what was I gonna say what was I gonna say oh yeah oh yeah really good thing that I'm gonna show you guys with hack service which we're not there yet but I will show you guys a really good technique so now that you have the text you can you can mess around you go to layers rotate and zoom and this will allow you to make it uh like this how the text isn't like all straight you can make it like that and then you do the same for the layer on the bottom you rotate it so it looks better you see how it's like goes from in to out that looks pretty good so I'm just gonna leave it like that um another thing or you could just simply not do it but in this case I am gonna do it because I felt happy on the results of it so Hmm. What you guys can do if you guys don't like the colors, you can always just go to adjustments, hue and saturation, and then lower it to normal color, and then you can just mess around with the colors. You see? Uh huh. Lower the saturation, the brightness up a little bit, and you can make it white. But in this case, I'm just gonna. Ooh! Oh my God! This looks actually. Oh my God! Oh my God! That looks actually pretty decent. You know what? Let's see it like that. See? You never know. You just have to try out everything in order to find out because this honestly looks really good in my opinion. I almost never use like darker text, but in this case, it does look pretty good. So, an inconvenience happened. I'll be right back. And, um, sorry about that. Um, we're back. And, um, now that you have this, you're not quite done yet. I mean, you could be. But let's just move this text a little bit. There we go, no, no, a, little bit. a little bit, that looks pretty decent, what about if I move it to this, oh there, even better, see, never know, so yeah, you guys can mess around with it, however I'm doing it, ne never means this is how the final product is going to look, I always somehow manage to modify it so you can go with a black outline and look at that if you don't want it that much you can just always simply um lower it but we're just gonna leave it like that without that and a good thing that I'm gonna show you guys is this rip claw effect that I got online so you're gonna copy this image open it in a new layer and paste in obviously it's gonna be small and this is a really good thing for you guys that want to resize sprites and when you resize them they look blurry as hell so when it says resampling instead of going for best quality click on nearest neighbor percentage and go from like 200 or something like that I'm just gonna go for 200 to make it twice its size and there you guys have it it won't be blurry at all so you copy the image you go to slack series and you can like merge these two layers now now that they're done you merge it, go a layer above it, and okay, let's go a little bit over here. And I'm gonna rotate the image, flip the image so that way the lines are facing this way. And we're just gonna like simply a little bit on the S and the U. We're going to do that, and after that, we're going to shift all the black and try upper the opacity a bit you see right here now you can either leave it like that or what happens if you go to the layer on the bottom you press cut and it gives this rip effect which will look better after I do it but 
I mean it does look kind of small so we're gonna have to make it a bit bigger a tad bigger um honestly I'm trying to see honestly I just wanted to give you guys a quick look on how to resize image without making them look blurry so I wonder if this would be the perfect size actually hmm Maybe if we make it a bit bigger oh see I didn't press shift right there there you go now layers flip and um, maybe a little bit around the S and the U now you click shift upper the tolerance a bit now cut it what the hell okay wrong layer click on the layer that has a text cut it and disappear and voila there you go that looks better so now that we have that out of the way you guys are probably this because this is a common mistake you guys are probably going to do and it's going to be to go to FX object and outline object and as you guys can see there the lines this does not look good at all this but if you guys still want a black outline what you guys can do is instead of doing that instead of doing that you guys either can go a layer down click on this go to solid color harness hunt all the way up make it a tad smaller click a color like black and go under it and you will give it a nice and background color that way the claw rippings are still good but this won't matter because I'm honestly gonna do a dark background which you guys can do if you guys want to but and then you just press and then you just like open this a little bit like okay let me, let me do this real quick so I can show you guys what I was doing because you guys are gonna probably say what the hell is this guy doing like does he even know what he's doing yes my friend I do know what I'm doing so now that you have uh, this oh doesn't matter now you have a decent amount you go to the layer of the text you duplicate the layer you grab this layer grab it now resize it a tad bit and measure it to where that looks like the bigger there you go so now that that's that we go to adjustments human saturation put the lightness all the way up okay let's make it a tad bigger click on that go going the black one you have and press cut so that way you have this black outline yeah but that didn't work in this case but usually works not in this text so now that you have that and we're back and um that was a complete fail but I mean you learn from your mistakes so now for the background you can either look on Google for your own backgrounds or you can create your own by simply choosing two colors which I'm not going to do completely black, but I'm going to, oh my god, what is that? So you go a tad bit on the middle, go not all the way to the black, probably to like a 16. And the second one, you make it really, really, really close to black, probably like a 7. And what you guys are going to do is, you remember when we did this in solid color? We're going to either choose the X one, which is what I recommend. You go to a big size and you color everything. Color it, you color it, we color it. So if you zoom in, you'll see like this little checkered board texture. That could work. Or why is my Skype not on? What? Why is it on Do Not Disturb? I mean, what the hell? Put it again. You guys saw that I put it on Do Not Disturb. What the hell? <sighs> I think I'm going crazy. But that was a bit too light or not too light but you guys can change the texture you guys can make it so it has like lines like this which I was gonna use just uh, giving you guys an example you zoom in you see like this little line texture which I really really like 
And now after you do that, you go a layer on top, you click on a completely dark, the blackest color you can find. Um, lower the opacity a little bit and the hardness right here, make it a solid color and you're going to give it like the shadow look like this. You see how it's looking like that? Um, make sure your hardness is to zero and this is a bit too dark so we're going to lower the opacity. See you always have to check. And there you go, that looks pretty nice. Go on top, oh, pfft. fail, go on top on top go on to the sides a little bit and up this layer up this layer put this layer on top up this layer what is up this layer but not on top of the Pokemon well you could do it on top of the Pokemon but I'm not gonna do it in this case or you can just drag the Pokemon above that one so there you go looks like that but I keep it I'm actually I yeah, am gonna put it under the the, the shading wait wrong layer click on this one still the shading and if you seem that like it's too dark and you don't want to resize it all you can just simply double click it and then you can either mess around with this make it like a glow but honestly I'm just gonna leave it normal and lower the opacity a little bit like that now that we have that done here's what I was mentioning you guys how to make the eyes look really really sick so on the Pokemon on top make sure you with this tool which is called the color picker you pick a color of his eyes so I'm gonna pick this red one now you go to more and then you go a tad red like more brighter color then you'll lower the opacity then on, on the layer on top of this you make a new layer you go into your brush, make sure hardness is zero. Make it around the size of the eye. So double click on it or triple click, however you guys want it. And then go to normal, go to glow. That'll make the eye glow and that will look really, really sick on your, any of your Pokemon. They're gonna do the eyes. In this case, I'm gonna make it not too red because I messed up. But this on glow, nope. See, it's on, make it on glow. And there you go. The eye looks really, really, like, ap appealing to the eye, in my opinion. So now, I forgot to give it a drop shadow. This is what drop shadow does. It outlines the Pokemon, and it gets, like, it fades it a little bit. Not, like, straight how outline object is, which is, like, straight outline. This is just, it shadows it. Shadows it, is that even a word, but... Uh, whatever so this is a good technique that I also recommend you duplicate slayer which is the Pokemon is you drag it down or you can just use the one in the bottom you select the Pokemon you resize it a lot a lot a lot a lot and you make it so you get you can see the eyes or something like that and you go to adjustments human saturation and the wrong idea and then you go Lightness to the middle because that was that's not necessary. You go to saturation down. You can put the lightness a bit up, however you want, doesn't matter. Now you double click it and you can go to the mode in which you mo most prefer to do it. I recommend this one, which is color dodge on a black color, of course, which is what works perfectly fine. So now that we have Slaxorus here. You can see that the banner is looking pretty darn amazing, in my opinion. In my opinion, yes, it's looking pretty awesome. What the hell? Oh my god! Oh, pff, I was wondering what that layer was. I was like, what the hell is layer? It is obviously the layer for that. So on the text, you can, you can um, what was it called? So you you can see how it's taking, it's taking, it's looking pretty freaking amazing and you honestly can like leave it like this however you want but you can go to drop shadow on the text this is what I was talking about drop shadow actually makes the text look really good like that see see how it looks really sick that's what you need not outline object but you go to drop shadow and the radius blur though higher the lower it is the more 
less uh, blurry it looks the outline but I recommend going um, not a bit over the recommended blur radius while increasing the widening radius to a decent amount so you see right here and if you see this gap right here and you don't like this gap the easiest way to fix it is by clicking on it and under the layer of the text not above under you grab your brush and you just color in real good that will make that disappear and look decently so you see on the corner you just fix that however you like I'm just gonna give it a bit of that and there you go that looks decently amazing decently amazing that's not even nothing that's nothing real so you can honestly just leave it like this if you want but since I didn't have that many like it didn't uh, tell me a lot of stuff to do I'm just gonna I'm not gonna leave like this uh, I'm still gonna modify a little bit so you see how the hacks wrist looks normal but if you try modifying it to that I usually go for glow glow makes it look really really good like really dark coloring you know you know that dark coloring thing you know what I'm talking about yeah so honestly this is the way I do my layouts uh, you can obviously find like textures which I'm going to do which I'm going to speed up in the process I will be right back once I find a texture for this Okay, so now that you found your background, okay, so now that we have our background, you can modify it so you see how this hacks wrist um looks like that. What you can do is um click on it and increase the tolerance so it basically outlines hacks wrist and on the background that here you cut that part. That way Slack wrist looks normal. That way it's not overlaying the background because there's no pictures you guys can see right here. If I get rid of this hack wrist, you guys can see there's this spot right here which is not um, outlining this hack wrist which is why it looks the same as before which is a good technique you guys can also use. And also you can, you can use it for this hack wrist on the background just like how it looks. So now that we have that. You can honestly just get rid of this one because we're going to make it better since it doesn't honestly look that awesome. Awesome. What the fuck? Reduce the opacity a little bit. Tolerance 0. 250. There we go. Oh my god. Looks pretty good. Oh my god. Looks pretty awesome. Make sure you emphasize this on the corners where you're not going to have anything. And you can lower it a little bit or modify the way it's blending, the blending options, which I honestly like this one. And as it, as it darker it gets, you can really emphasize or look or really notice this red eye, which is what this effect I really, really like. Um, honestly, I think we're pretty much done here. But I'm also going to show you guys how to do a profile picture. So we're going to click new. And this is the question many people ask me is what is the size you do your icons on? It honestly goes from 250. Oh, what the hell? 250 pixels is a minimum required. I just go to 500 because I honestly like how 500 looks like. And you get rid of the background by clicking on the magic wand and deleting it. So now that we have that, we can now go to our layer where Haxorus is, copy it, and make new layer, remember this, make new layer, paste it. And this is something that I don't think I mentioned, but do not click on expand canvas because this is what's going to happen. It's going to, yep, that's going to happen. Do not do that, okay? Alright, so I just sound like an idiot. but. <laughs> You paste it and keep canvas size that way it will still be there. So you can modify the hacksers how it looks like, make it a bit smaller, and 
that's honestly how I'm gonna leave it like that. You're also gonna copy the color of the background you used. That way everything looks nice and fitting. Keep canvas size. Put it up, put it up, put it up. And there you go. Same color as the back what same color as the background. Now on the textual effect we click over here where nothing is there. Right here. And then we copy that. New layer, everything you do in your layer will help you out so much. So you can play it like that. And what I did was I changed it to what transition actually. Honestly, you can change it to whatever. I'm just going to put it to overlay and lower the opacity a bit. That way it looks pretty decent. And again, the red glowing eye. I'm going to show you guys how to do that again. Click on hacks to resist eye. Wait, eye. Increase the red. The brightness, lower the opacity. Click on this. That is way too big. That's what she said. Oh, it's purple. Red. There you go. Double, triple, tap it however times you want. Normal, glow, and boom. Look at that nice and powerful red eye. So you can either copy the text of which is Slaxers right here, but what I'm gonna do. You can um, grab it, copy it, put it on new layer. Everything in new layer, people. Remember, new layer. You can never go bad with layers. So you drag it on, and it's going to look something like this. But if you guys honestly do not like this, you can honestly just delete that and select the color which the main text is and the second text. There you go. So here we go on this and you can simply just write the name of your person again. Slaxerus, which in this case Slaxerus. And that looks too small. Mm. That looks a bit too big. What about a hundred and one? So now that we have that you can um, duplicate layer adjustment human saturation lightness all the way up now you see the secondary color you add it to your palette so that way you know I'm gonna use it to the color I'm never gonna use now this is our primary color you got adjustment human color and human hue and saturation then go to Glide, whatever, gray, gray scale on color paper, and it's gonna change it to the same color you have it right here. So you could just move it to your left and then down like that. And since it's gonna be really small, there's no point of giving you like text effect. But you, but you, but the, the, oh my god, what is wrong with me? But what you can do is drag both layers and go to object, drop shadow. And it's really big, you can see this right here, so we're gonna have to lower that down. Blur radius down, and holy, holy, it looks really good, doesn't it? Yeah, I know it does. And um, I also like to do a layer on the top, and the same color, just make it a little bit lighter. Go into the tool selection, and go to around a 20. Go from the corner. 20 20 20 20 and do that in this case it's a bit too big so we're gonna go with 15 um then you put the text on top that way it doesn't cover it now you go to effects drop shadow that way it gives it a nice and powerful look so you can all oh you can always change the way it's overlaying everything to give it a good text uh effect which i'm trying to find one if i can find one this looks decent, I guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like that. So, hopefully, this tutorial helped you guys a lot. I mean, it's not the best work I've done, but honestly, I did. I wasn't told like any specific things he wanted on the layout. Um, but I just showed you all my techniques that I use when I do mine. So hopefully this helped you guys a lot. And if you did, don't make sure to 
hit that like button because it helps everybody in Team Eclipse and also go check out my channel the link will be in the description which I do every week I do um, some amount a GFX of speed art so you are interested on in watching those you can go click my link in the description and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video at this moment I'll just be showing you a preview how the image looks but without a further ado, thank you guys so much for watching and for next week I want you guys to request some other thing that you guys want me to do. I don't have any suggestions this week so you guys can suggest your own tutorial for next week. So with that, with that being said, I am Chespin98 and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.